What it is, everybody. It's your boy back with another version video, and I'll be reacting to what is this? Lucifer season two, episode four. Why did that go to full screen? Anyway, so Lucifer's mother is starting to gain back her, so at least some of her celestial powers, like her strength since she killed a guy or at least severely injured him um, at the end of season 3 I mean end of episode 3 Lucifer also to kind of get around uh, I guess a loophole in his deal with his uh, father he said that he was going to condemn his mother to live on earth as the person that she is inhabiting so she had to be in her life now and be a defense attorney and take care of children and stuff like that. So, I don't think she knows how to do that. Take it for taking care of human children might be might be a bit of a challenge for her. But yeah, so in a minute, no one knows that he is. You know, he can't get it up like he used to. As far as his wings, they don't they don't come out. You know, when he when he uh, ejaculated. Or, as Charlemagne would say, shot the club up. Uh, with uh, Mazikeen, he can't do that anymore. His wings, like, shot out and broke the, the window <laughs> on the car. He can't do that anymore because his wings look like a diseased chicken wing. Now. But, uh, anywho, let's just get into this. I said I won't want to talk for a long time, so I'm trying to keep that promise. So, look, here we are. Sometimes <laughs> when we're in crisis, we create distractions for ourselves, also known as barriers to facing our deepest fears. Oh, sorry, right, this is the part where you, um, dissect my deep cycle. I like when they dive into this to show that, like, you may be an angel. But you are very, a lot more human than you might think. And you might think you were kind of the, like, kind of like the, the um, canvas of how God made humans. He made you first, then he made humans. I think you're trying to avoid the unpleasantness of conflict. Hold on. You're saying that distraction is a way to avert your problems. No. Ergo, the more I distract, the less I want. Sure, no. no, I did not say that. When I've got... oh. Hey, it's a crime scene. Will you focus? You're some of the grumpy pants today. No, oh, sorry. I got a lot on my mind. Yes, sorry. You know, normally I don't care when women have their hair tied back or down or whatever. It was for her, like, she does look a lot more attractive with her hair down. Which is like it's weird for me because normally I don't fucking care. I don't even care a woman shaves. I don't fucking care. She did. <laughs> young female. She did. She did. Fresh phone, not the car. And now that we have his number, by the looks of this map, our guy is on the corner of Crescent and Third. Impressive. Yeah, she did that fast. Let's solve a murder. I can assist you with that. <laughs> Brilliant. He smirked a little bit. Dad, Dad hates his guts, but he, he he found that a little funny. I just came to see how the supreme goddess is. Damn, she fine. Well, I wouldn't plan a festival of celebration. They're both fine, my dear. I will not let this. But Mazikeen, mm. chicken casserole. Boy. Oh. Hell off my property. Now, how you? Not detective. This home's the site of a recent massacre. You may well be in an excellent negotiating position. That's the way I answer my door. When Joe's witnesses come around, but I just come out with a knife covered in blood, like you tail off my property. Yes, the Sweeney Todd thing's a bit histrionic, don't you think? Oh, you cops? Sorry. You know, some comedians next door been up in my grill all day long. I assumed it was them again. He looks familiar. Is that his voice? I hope you hungry. Test his charge. It kind of looks like bad, uh, what was it? What do they call it? AVR or ADR work, whatever. Class all full up, was it? 
farm the table, man, for my restaurant ellipsis. Oh, yes. I've heard the grilled polenta's divine. We also brew on kombucha, keep bees. Mm, keeping it real. Yeah, there's no hormones in this meat. Speaking of your meat, David. Hey, hormones are delicious. First off. I wanted to come over because I was with... So you're saying your wife is your alibi? Actually, no. I was with another waitress. And oh. I found out about that and... Sheesh. Okay, well, I'll need the name and number of the other waitress. <laughs> yeah, I was with another waitress, and that's who I was fighting with my wife about. <laughs> Not the dead one. This is hard to explain. Uh, it's kind of a uh, physical problem. Oh? And things aren't working the way they used to. <laughs> I mean, I've been very stressed in my life and did repairs and my shit never, if it never affected my stuff. Maybe because I was younger and I'm still a bit younger. Maybe that affects older men, which I do worry about sometimes. Like, am I going to get erectile dysfunction? I mean, it's going to happen eventually. <laughs> It, it happens to the best of us, all right? It's a normal thing. Sheesh. Don't look at me like that. Oh, gosh. Can you smell that? Oh. Foul and continent creatures. That's not a cat smell. That's a dead smell. Yeah, I was like, that's definitely not a cat smell. Cat shit and piss. Oh, my God. Naomi. Yeah, I'm sure she's dead. She's stinking. She's dead. We just skip the small talk. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I'll go next, I guess. Um, I used to steal cars. Who's next? I was forged in the bowels of hell to torture the guilty for all of eternity. <laughs> um. Sheesh. A little divorce, single parenthood, uh, possible homelessness, and most likely many, many cats in my future. Or things that require batteries. Hey, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm... Oh, cosmopolitan. Gosh, this really is girls' night. Tell you something to do with You think letting mom stay here on Earth doesn't affect us all? Why? Because you think dad is going to forgive and forget about the fact that you broke a deal? I haven't broken anything. I found a loophole. As such, I'm not... You think God cares about loopholes? Oh, yeah. Put that hair down, girl. And we like to party. I wish I had my knives. We could have made a blood pact. Next time. Next time, that is... There's always that one friend that gives just too weird it's usually me but now not that weird not blood packs she took a picture maze oh yeah alcohol doesn't affect maze that's right Oh, this is all the police officer. Maze couldn't wait for this to happen. What do you think happening? You would think Lucifer would. I asked him, like, why is alcohol affecting you now? <laughs> like, alcohol is not supposed to affect us. Is it knows that you're a big deal in the small town? A ten back home, but in L.A., just a five. Things haven't worked out Ooh. here, have they, Lily? So much heartache, struggle, compromise. It made you brings out the murder in your eyes. Whoa, shit. Seems kitties do have claws. Oh, that escalated quickly. The best workout class? Where to hike? This apartment? They asked you for help and you preyed on them? I was doing them a favor. What, by putting mandrake in their drinks? I thought it was an organic kind of roofie. I didn't know that it would kill them. <laughs> Oh, 
special person helps for women who make friendships as a way of manipulating other women. She's right, you know. Okay. You mentioned no, and also no. You're not my boss anymore. Well, that may be, but I can't have the women in my life teaming up. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Dad forbid you manage to have sex with her before I do. Oh, wow. Can I interest you in another wage? I want to drink. Well, that's it. Well, fine. Pick any bottle, pour two glasses. No. I want you to pour me a drink. Mmm. This is the... This is a act of uh, def kind of like defiance. They know you're the devil. You pour me a drink, motherfucker. We both know that dad is not the kind to forgive and forget. No distraction on mm. earth is going to change that. I said that I would punish mum, and I'm doing so here on earth. Deal maintained, loophole achieved. Tell me something, brother. What deal did you make? What was worth writing father of all people a blank check? Another what? A who? You made a deal for Chloe's life? Don't look at me like that. At the time, it made a certain amount of sense. Oh. Chloe's life was spared. Well, that's one interpretation. Despite whatever loopholes you think you found and the lies that you have told yourself, you still haven't delivered on your end of the bargain. Lucy, what if Dad decides to take back his side of the deal? Well, that wouldn't be very forgiving, would it? That'd be kind of fucked up. I mean, because you're a guy, you can literally do whatever you want you like hey you yeah, lied to me so great. take it as human right soul away. this Thank one you. among billions <laughs> stop like that would be fucked up but that, that, that would be that would be the the ultimate of petty <laughs> like, hey you said that you were going to return your mom, my ex-wife, to hell if I restored your female companion soul or I didn't or made sure she didn't die. Okay. You you kinda reneged on that. I mean, yeah, it's a loophole, but hey. God is like, I'm in charge, I make the rules, so he can change them whenever he wants. And he feels that you've backhanded or you haven't uh, up and up held your end of the bargain. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to take this. Especially when you learn later, like about Chloe's kind of origins. We're dealing with like God. I think he sent a minute deal to make sure that their parents met that Chloe was born. Kind of weird that he would be that petty. Especially with Chloe, like, like, yeah, she's dead. Like, <laughs> but if I remember correctly, I don't think it has anything to do with God or anything. I think, because of anything, because I know later on, when um, I think it's Uriel that comes. The, uh, I can't remember which arc archangel. But I think it's Uriel. Um, he says like God isn't listening anymore. No one seen or talked to God, uh, but Lucifer, he talked to somebody, and I, 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 they're probably going to elaborate on that later on. Like I said, I can't remember every detail. Listen, I don't have photographic memory. I'm sorry. All right, I don't remember every last thing that I read or see. I'm sorry. All right, I ain't that guy from Crim Criminal Minds who has uh, was iodic memory or whatever remembers everything you read I'm sorry I don't remember but I think they dive into it as far as like who was talking and I'm, I'm I hate that I'm getting maybe it's the alcohol but I hate that I'm getting mixed up with supernatural because now I'm thinking of Metatron <laughs> which is all supernatural <laughs> maybe I should just watch that I, I keep I want to start looking at that series again because I want to watch all the way to the end because they're ending, you know, they're ending that show finally after 15 seasons. And I stopped watching it. I, well, I started watching like season 13, but I've only think 
I think I saw two or three episodes of season 13. But um, I've only seen season 1 through 12. And I've seen that multiple. I've seen season 1 through 8 probably like five times. And season 1 through 12 maybe twice. But uh, and that was because it was on Netflix. But uh, but yeah, I can't. I'm getting I'm getting these shows mixed up. It might be the alcohol confusing me because I know I I know Metatron is not in this show unless he's in season five, which I haven't seen. Yeah, I'm waiting to actually react to that on here. So, you know, it's a more of a genuine reaction. Even though, like, I don't remember these episodes verbatim, and when I and until I start watching them, like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. But. Like I want to actually, I want it to actually be more of a reaction in season five because I haven't actually seen it. But uh, anyway, yeah, like I, I, I know Amanda Dale comes out later and says, "Hey, I lost my my wings or whatever," and um, so he can't fly back and forth between heaven and hell, which I'm assuming are different dimensions. They're not like on Earth. It's not some like Greek uh, mythology where you can actually go to hell in this one spot, and a human being can actually go into hell. Or if you climb this mountain, you can go into heaven. Like no, it's you have to actually be dead <laughs> to go into those planes of existence. They're on a completely different place. Kind of like because it's DC, so I have to remember that it's not. <laughs> actual uh like supposed to be biblical like adaptation of the bible <laughs> this is dc's adaptation of that uh so i'm sure that like i'm pretty sure that um is more like if you think of like uh what's the movie uh, or even a tv show like constantine where you know heaven and hell exists on different planes of existence but I know in this I, I do remember in that whole crossover event they had Constantine the guy who plays Constantine in like the CW universe uh, which he's actually pretty good you know uh, I'd like to see more I know they brought him back in um, uh, was it uh, what was that name of that show why am I thinking the day after tomorrow is a movie that's not the name of that show uh a time traveling show. What is it? Why am I forgetting it now? <laughs> I know the second I start recording, I'm gonna remember. But Legends of Tomorrow, I think is what it's called. Which I watched, I think, three seasons, but I had to I stopped watching because my work schedule changed, so I couldn't watch it as much as I used to. And then I just end up start watching. Same thing happened with Walking Dead, a bunch of other shows that I watched that. Or schedule changed. I could just couldn't watch it anymore. But uh, or I just stopped watching it for no reason. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like in that show where you have, I think in Luc I'm not Lucifer, but uh, I know Constantine actually went into Lucifer's universe, which is a different part, you know, because they had the multiverse thing. And and the TV show Lucifer takes place in a different universe. You know, so that way you can say, oh, well, you don't see, you know, Superman flying around or Batman or whatever, you know, because this is taking place in a different universe. But uh, Constantine went to that universe to get help from Lucifer. I remember seeing like it was like a small scene because it was Constantine, that chick who plays Arrow's daughter and um, Diggle was there and I remember Diggle like he like he instantly just did not like Lucifer <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll look I don't know about looking at those crossover events but maybe I'll look at Arrow I've been meaning to get back in that show cause I stopped looking at that show what season was it when it was the season when they took Slade's powers away because you know Slade in that show had uh you know like 
you know, slays power, like superhuman strength, speed, stuff like that. And they injected him with something to take that strength away. And then that season ended. And then I can't remember that was season like five or something like that. But I I didn't, I stopped watching it. I don't remember why. I, I thought it was a good season. But I just stopped watching it. I stopped watching Flash like that too. I think I stopped watching Flash like around season six. I just stopped. Just randomly just stopped watching. I don't know why. But uh, I'm like that. I just, I start watching something else. And then I'm like, I start prioritizing. Especially doing reaction videos now. Where I have to prioritize what I'm looking at. Because, you know, there's only so many hours in a day. And then especially to watch and edit and then I want to do gameplays eventually, which I still haven't started doing. Maybe I'll do them at night. It's only like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Just start doing a random gameplay. Play for like two hours, I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, don't remember where I was going. Just anyway, whatever. Hope you enjoyed my reaction one. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that. Bell, I need to put like an animated bell or something because I always do that. And I kept saying I'm gonna put like an animated bell or something in it, but I never do it. <laughs> like an animated bell and then like a bell sound of me doing that, but I still haven't done it. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally do it, but yeah, hit that bell. You want me to know if I want to upload the video? Comment down below, share this video. I appreciate all y'all subscribing or just watching whatever you want to do you maybe you don't have an account i appreciate you watching the video hey maybe you can open up a tab and just hit watch all just watch all of them. you know why you go to sleep mute it that way you don't you don't interrupt your sleep you just hear it just, and you don't hear it it just plays through all of them. and make sure you like the video as well even though i've heard that that doesn't actually do anything I don't know, I've heard conflicting things where likes or dislikes mean something, and I've heard actually they mean nothing is watch time. I don't know. Hey, watch, like, or dislike. Maybe the dislike actually means something makes, because YouTube <laughs> is all about, hey, if people get on this enough and they like it or dislike it, but it's getting traction, they like great. Especially with me, because I guess now they made it where they can put ads on my videos without actually me being a YouTube partner because I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. Which I'm like, hmm, interesting that you have that ruling where they have bad actors. So you made that ruling where you have to have 4,000 watch hours and a thousand subscribers. But now you can make money off of people who don't have enough or don't or don't qualify for that because they either don't have the watch time or the subscribers and you can be like hey but we can still put ads on your video and we make all that money and we don't have to give you anything so but hey it's their platform they can do whatever they want whether I think is right or not it is what it is that's what Trump said, right? It is what it is. <laughs> Talking about Kobe victory. <laughs> hey, people die. All right, it is what it is. People die. That's we can't we can't get over. <laughs> That's life. All right. <laughs> I did a great job. All right, I saved billions of lives. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even I don't even get political. I don't care about all that stuff. Well, at least on here, but in my personal life, it's a different story, but on here, that's not what I'm, I'm not, it's not going to turn into some political channel. I'm not the Hodge Twins, where I go from comedy to all of a sudden naming myself the conservative twins out of nowhere, and all my jokes are now about politics or things or that have become politicized, you know, but that will not happen here. But anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction. I already went through all that. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace.